enough of this. This is Junior Goldado with the album Taste of the Young Heart. So this is late 70s, roots reggae. The vinyl is in great shape. You can see the sleeve has a little bit of staining on it. But um, yeah, so yeah, pleased to find this. Never seen this one before. Um, it's on Dennis Brown's label. It's produced by Dennis Brown. And it's just the great late 70s roots reggae record. I've played this quite a lot since I got back. And uh, yeah, definitely one worth checking out. I'm really pleased to find that. And also from the reggae section, I found this album. This is Jack the Ripper by uh, Junior English. Again, late 70s. Now, Junior English is an interesting artist because um, I really like his vocal style. He's, he's sang in that, um, that falsetto, that high falsetto. Uh, very, very much reminiscent of Curtis Mayfield. You can really hear the Curtis Mayfield in, in, influence his music. He actually covered a lot of Curtis's tunes as well. And he does so on this. box but this is what was in it this is broadsword and the beast jethro tull the 40th anniversary vinyl edition comes in a very nice package to try to avoid the glare probably not happening Cool thing here is this is a four LP box. It comes with the Stephen Wilson remastered version of the uh, original album, of course. Always love this artwork. Same inner sleeve. And it's is a uh, Fleetwood uh, Max uh, Tango in the Night. Uh, this is uh, still sealed. Uh, my wife was like, definitely picking this up. Need all the Stevie Nicks in her life. Uh, we also got a uh, Fleetwood Mac uh, Mirage. Uh, again, my wife was like, we're picking this up. Uh, don't have this in our collection. All these records, we don't, I don't have it in my collection. Uh, this one I was super excited about. I got the Beatles uh, Magical Mystery Tour. Hadn't found this uh, anywhere yet. Or I had seen it, but they were usually in bad condition. This is like a early 70s release. Uh, it has the book on the inside, which, to be honest with you, I've never seen before. So it has a lot of stills uh, from the movie. It also has some really cool uh, artwork inside. Uh, Debbie and Cecil also had two white albums and a Sergeant. I went into Rafe's from the Grave. We went into Rafe's from the Grave and just uh, asked the question: um, Have you got any records, new records that you've uh, bought in recently and 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 rather massively overstocked, uh, such that you are willing to sell me at a really cheap price? And basically, they did these at. Uh, not quite half price, but not far off. Uh, so the new Muse album. I don't know the new Muse album. I quite like Muse. Quite like earliest Muse anyway. So um, we're going to get to know this one well because we have uh, one, two, three, four copies. So what I'm going to do is um, open these up and just put on the label post-it note with uh, like one, two, three, four, so to speak. Le nouveau top 5, Dom m'a demandé de vous présenter euh, mes 5 albums préférés euh, de notre collection de vinyle. Euh, donc euh, je suis Ophélie, le, je vais vous présenter mon top 5. Bon, le choix a été euh, difficile, mais j'y suis arrivée. Donc en numéro 5, un album de Prince, je ne vous présente pas l'artiste. Donc c'est euh, un de ces deux albums de 79, où on retrouve euh, l'original A Feel For You de Chaka Khan. Mais on va écouter euh, le track euh, I Wanna Be A Lover, c'est le titre qui a fait la renommée de cet album de Prince.
Après avoir écouté euh, ce titre de ce super album de Prince, on va passer euh, à mon numéro 4 dans ce top 5. Euh, donc j'ai longuement hésité. Uh, Strawberries by The Damned. This is the record store day release that came out last year, I think. Yeah, last year. Um, to celebrate their 40th anniversary, right? Uh, exactly. Uh, limited edition uh, to celebrate the 40th anniversary, and it comes on this, you know, lovely pink and red swirl uh, vinyl. Really nice with that little piggy in there. <laughs> great, uh, great, great album, man. Um, you know, one of the coolest songs on here, in my opinion, isn't really punk rock at all. It's um, Life Goes On. Really nice song, beautiful song. <laughs> And uh, this issue, really cool, um, my friend Rudy has an original, and I haven't heard his, so I'd, I'd like to, so we could do like a comparison. Uh, this also... Mac Live, a $20 record. Here is a 81 Club Edition ZZ Top El Loco. Maybe $15. Here's a Black Moses from Isaac Hayes. It's a VGVG. It's 1971 in the Indianapolis Press. It's maybe only about an $8 record because it's condition. And it's, it's not the fold-out. Fold-outs, those are, those are cool. Here is a... Uh, I didn't see the year on this one. I think it's actually... must be fairly modern. It's a uh, Credence. It's one of the greatest hits. Uh, it's near mint, excellent, and it's probably about a $30 record. Again, I don't know the year on that one. This one I listened to last night. It's actually pretty cool. It's Bad Manners from Crowbar. It's actually their Greatest Hits Volume 1. It's a Near Mint VG Plus. Probably about a $20 record. Non, mais si, c'est grâce à, à elle que je me suis dit, mais ouais, mais on peut aussi faire des rythmiques en samplant euh, une porte qui se ferme. Euh, on peut enregistrer... Euh, je sais pas moi, euh, des bulles de champagne pour faire un fond qui fait... Euh, C'est en fait de sampler tout et n'importe quoi pour reconstituer de la musique à partir de, de bruits concrets. Euh. Surtout celui-là, il est très sophistiqué, il y a énormément de... Ça m'a aussi appris que euh, qu'aujourd'hui... Euh, partir dans des réels de cet ordre, c'est presque un peu inutile parce que... Parce que toutes ces subtilités, elles passent à la trappe quand on écoute sur un pauvre Bluetooth euh, central euh, dehors et que tout est en mono et que là il y a énormément d'effets stéréo, de subtilités de partout. Pour préserver un minimum un effet de surprise, je t'ai mis ici les, vraiment les premières secondes de cette hippie et c'est un groupe Allemand qui nous fait du folk viking metal et, euh, bah, et apparemment selon euh, Metal Archive c'est un hippie mais un hippie qui totalise quand même pas moins de 39 minutes pour 4 morceaux, des morceaux qui avoisinent euh, entre 5, 8, 9 et euh, pratiquement 16 minutes pour le dernier donc franchement bah, on est gâté parce que c'est qu'un hippie mais 39 minutes c'est vraiment sympa et je te recommande fortement cet hippie. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos, saludos y abrazos en estéreo, capítulo nuevo en Maxi Vinil, ya saben, el canal del vinilo en tu idioma. Yo soy Cristian Chico Pérez desde Chile. Sí, soy chileno. Me preguntan a veces de dónde soy, si soy peruano o de otro país. No, soy chileno desde acá, desde Santiago de Chile. Hacemos cada semana dos capítulos, jueves, domingo, para rescatar una gran canción, melodía, artista, single, álbum, en 
vinilo, que es el formato que nos convoca. Y aquí estamos otra vez, muchachos. Sean bienvenidos. Hoy, Maxi Vinila M. Rescatamos cada cierto tiempo una de esas canciones que sonaba en la vieja amplitud modulada en esa radio cassette que seguramente estaba en la cocina de tu casa. Generalmente canciones en castellano, que hay algunas excepciones también de lo que sonaba en la vieja radio M. Yo les traigo una de esas canciones lanzada en 1982 que se llama Camino del Sur. 